60 fast day. Thank you for your grace and your new mercies. Thank you for all your strength and your guidance. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. We pray that you will look upon us at this present hour. Thank you for guiding us and directing us. Strengthen us where we weak. Build us up where we're torn down. Forgive us of all of our transgressions. In the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. Whatsoever, Lord Jesus, you said we ask in your name that you would do it. We pray for those who are on our prayer list and prayer board. Please sir, have mercy. We pray this prayer. Be with us, guide us, and direct us as we go forward that we will be pleasing in your holy sight. Thank you for your grace, your mercies. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. We have gone over this lesson uh, many times. Now, <clears throat> Psalm 27 and 1. Let us read the first two verses together. Are we ready? All right, let us read. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked even my enemies and foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Stop being under the illusion, Christian, brother and sister, that you don't have enemies. Stop being under the illusion that they're not going to bother you. Let you know that they're your enemies. Because David here says, when? That's not if or it might happen. He says, when? When you are uh, when you make the Lord your light All right. All right. and your salvation, you're going to have enemies. Amen. I don't care how you treat them, that other adversary spirit in them are not going to accept you. I don't care. The Lord is my light. Now that's number one. And my salvation. Those two go together. They are coupled together where you won't fear. If the Lord is your light. What does that mean? Light uh, provides an understanding of where you're going, who you're going with, where you're going, how you're going, it says it gives you an understanding. Yes. All right, all right. Amen. Amen. What does that mean? The light gives you an understanding how to deal with your enemies, your foes, your weak, the wicked, because he gives you the mind of understanding which way to go with those. And salvation means you're secure. That's security. And then he goes on to say, uh, he, he's my strength. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. Now, we cannot walk in the spirit of the light without the strength of God. We can't do it without the Holy Ghost. 
Right. We just can't, regardless how we have the mind, Paul says, to do right, but if we don't have the Spirit of the Lord in us, we can't do it. Amen. The Lord is my, he said, the Lord is my strength yes. of my life. Mm -hmm. He didn't say of my toe. Of my eyes. He said my life. Life is your breath, your heart, your soul, your mind. He is the strength of your life. You can't move without God. So he is the strength of my life. And then he goes, of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. Now, in the Sunday school lesson, the Sunday school lesson in Revelation refers to all liars yes. and fearful right. shall have their part in the lake yes. which burns with fire. Now, that tells us that the fearful and liars are not walking in the light. Right. Darkness represents unrighteousness. Amen. I don't mean black folk. It means all kind of folk. Black, white, green. Some people, they literally start taking that black means, you know, uh, that's not true. You could be just as white as snow and be just have a black heart. So he, he gives us this understanding of how to carry yourself first. Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to uh, allow the Lord to be your light. Yes. How do you do that? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yes. That's the story. And then you walk by faith. How do you walk by You believe his word. You walk in his word. Instead of you cussing somebody out, kind words drives away wrath. Grievous words stir the anger. Instead of you mean mugging somebody, put a smile, on it. put a Jesus smile. Not that, that plastic uh, joker smile on your face. Put, put that real smile yeah. from your heart. Yeah. Salvation is security. He, he's, yeah. he saves us from ourselves, number yeah. one. Yeah. He saves us from yeah. some, I hear some, yeah, if I, yeah, I'm glad I went back to that. You ought to not even say that. Because that's where your mind is. That's where your spirit is. Right. Back there. Right. I hear some. Oh, I hear. I hate to say it. But there's, there's one get up all the time. Say, I, I tell them. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm saying to myself, Negro, you are. That's why you say it all the time. <laughs> you know the very ones you got to watch? The quiet ones. The reps say they'd be like pepper in your eyes. Have the, have the spirit of Christ. Christ. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He came, made it plain whom David was really trusting in. When you follow Jesus, you will have salvation. And you will not fear. He says, when, now listen, the wicked, that's the, hey, they don't mean no good any kind of way. Wicked person to take a, a a good ice cream 
and slap it on the ground. You could be eating a good popsicle and they come slap it out of your hand. We can just do this. Just do the opposite of doing being good. Even, he says, even my enemies. He said the wicked, he classifies them. That's just personally, they, they don't care who they hurt. And then he said, I got personal enemies. And then he goes on to say, my foes, they, they fight against me. Yeah. Enemies, yeah. They, just, they don't like me. My foes fight against me. Right. Came upon me to eat up my flesh. Now you know that's, that's the devil. Mm -hmm. He told the Lord, when, he, when the Lord asked, where are you going? I'm going up and to and fro, seeking whom I can devour, yeah. who I can just eat up. I can just, I just hate righteousness. David says, they stumbled and failed. Yeah. Nowhere in that did we hear David say, I hit them so hard they knocked and fell down. <laughs> Don't you see what the Lord is saying? He'll fight your battles. He says, vengeance is mine. Don't try to be huffy and puffy and, and, and you can't tempt me nothing. Just calm down. Mr. and Miss, calm yourself down and walk humbly with thy God. Let the light of Christ shine through you. Let them see Christ. They, gonna, they can't stand the light. They're going to stumble and fall. Because they're going to get caught in their own lie. Yes. They're going to get caught in their own mess. Some people say, oh, don't you leave it. You, you said that last thing. You, I don't see what you're talking about. You just live right. Yes. My late pastor would say, a lie will hit the ground running. He say, just live right. Just keep, just trust in the Lord. Right. David here sets the foundation for what we're going through right now. Right. These laws that are being passed against the church hate righteousness. A man shall not marry another man. That's the Bible. Don't it tells it? He says a man shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. For all that do so is an abomination. Unto the Lord. That's you know what abomination is? A sin that's done directly against God. That's very offensive. That's why he came down and incarnated and went to Abraham's house. They say, I want to he came down to investigate. And the two angels, not they the men, uh, they went down there and it's, it was just like it was. It stuck in God's nostrils. Yes, right. Diseases take place. Yes. Yes. Horrid situations. You don't fight your battle. Yes. They will stumble and fall. Yes, and don't you laugh. Right. Right. Don't you talk about goody goody. You know don't think you're so high on the total pole. God is just fighting your battle. You just keep cool, brother and sister. Pray for them who despitefully use yourself. Man. God will take care of them. Herod killed James with the sword. But you know what? God killed him. And the angel smote him because he opened his mouth and thought he was he was beyond repair because he felt that he was God. Theocracy, theocratic mentality. Man, better watch out. 
the, the, this humanism is gripping a lot of men yeah. right. where they feel they they beyond God. Yeah. Though an host should encamp against me, a host. I've had that happen. Seem like you have people against you by the many, many. But here, David says, the host in camp, they sit around, see, how, see what you're going to do. See, see how you're going to come out. Though and host, and those are the what he talks about in Psalm one. Wicked counsel, mm -hmm. ungodly counsel, yeah. right. standing in the standing with sinners, mm -hmm. stand, sitting in the seat of the scornful. Right. Though and host, they sitting around just waiting to see you fall. Right. Right. How many? What was that prediction? We wouldn't be be here for one year or six, I don't know what I mean. Huh? I tell you one thing, here God is still, yeah. we're still walking in the light. Yeah. The Lord is still our salvation. Yeah. The Lord is still our strength. Yeah. 18 years and some days later, yeah. we're still praising yeah. God. Yeah. We're yeah. still walking yeah. in the light. Yeah. You don't fight. You don't fight. You don't have that mind, evil heart. Right. Right. You have a good heart. Yes. You, the Lord wants all men saved. Yes. Even your enemies. Yes. Sometimes people are against you because somebody else is against you. Yes. And when they find out differently, they become your, some of your at, uh, best adversary. I bet best uh, those who talk for you. I've had that to happen. See, I thought you was. Mm -hmm. They had that loud that I split the church. <laughs> I didn't try to fight anybody on that. Some asking, I heard that you, uh, and, and some, I heard late Sister Watson got on somebody when she was living. And she said, yeah, that was, that was a preacher split church. Why did he want to say that? You know Sister Watson. He ain't split no church, which I didn't. But I didn't go around telling, I didn't, I didn't do that. I'm not going to do that. God fights my battles. Yeah. They put it out there so, don't you know your enemies will put in your folds and put it out there so you can get it? And they know the garbage can to talk to. You got church garbage cans? Children, adults, you think it's, they just garbage cans. They carry garbage. And though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. See, that's where you got to be careful. Don't let fear get in your heart. You know why David's heart don't fear? Because his heart is with the Lord. The Lord. Amen. Light is in his heart. Yes. Salvation is in his heart. Amen. The Lord is his strength. Amen. Therefore, you don't, you don't fear. Amen. This will I be confident. Mm -hmm. what, what is he confident about? 
One thing have I desired of the Lord. Yes, that I will seek after, uh, seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life yes. to behold the beauty of the Lord yes. and to inquire in his temple. Yes. Oh, Lord. You know, he's his mind is transforming. Yes. It's a trans, uh, transforming mind. He's looking beyond all of this, this messy stuff. This is warfare we're in. But he's looking toward the, the beauty of the Lord. Yeah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I also yeah. saw the Lord sitting yeah. high. Upon, you're talking about beautiful? Yeah. Heaven is going to be beautiful. Yeah. Don't miss it. Yeah. Don't miss I'm telling you. Yeah. It, it, transcend, it transcends all of You think you... You think those houses in where Black Hawk? Where is that home? In Black Hawk, you think they they beautiful? You think what we saw, the Grand Canyon and Sedona is beautiful? Don't miss heaven. Amen. Paul says, "Eyes have not seen, no ears heard." What I, the Lord said, I just believe that. Amen. Sunday school talks about a new heaven. Yes. And he's not coming back here. Some people. Under the impression he's coming. No, he's going to be in the mid air. Yes, yes. This, this is too dirty down here. Be caught up to yes. me. Amen. But all fearful and liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. David says, The beauty of the Lord. The Lord, you know. It's just awesome. He's beautiful. Yeah. And David said to inquire in his temple. I bet it's going to be shouting. Some of you who are quiet on the quiet side, I hope you don't be out of place. Feel out of place with the noise that's going to be in heaven. It's going to be noisy. Some of you sit with your mouth closed. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You better start hollering now. <laughs> David already said, make a joyful noise yes. unto the Lord. Yes. That's what we're going to be shouting. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, boy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You're going to be so happy. So happy. Yeah. You made it over. That song said, My soul looks back and wonders how I got over. All right, I'm going to stop there for tonight and uh, pick it up next week. Be at the Lord's where we should live. The beauty of the Lord. He shows us glimpses, He just showed us a glimpse of His awesomeness when we went to Sedona and the Grand Canyon. When we drive across the country, we've seen some, those, we've seen some most beautiful landscapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. The beautiful uh, scenic, scenic uh, rivers. Yes. And uh, when you were at, uh, when we were at um, the waterfall there in New York, Niagara Fall. That's the beauty. And then you, you went over there and saw that awesomeness of where the water's going, running upstream and twirling, and where the Native Americans crossed it. Uh, cross, but that's almost impossible. This, this black squirrels, look, this looks so like, like pets. Like pets. And it's, it's a, Beautiful. I mean, this awesomeness. Yes. Then, if you go to the aquarium, San Francisco or down in San Monterey, and then when I was in in uh, Athens, Greece, 
the water, the agency. Mm. It was so beautiful with Sea World. Uh, I mean, it was so beautiful. Wow. I mean, with the variety mm. of the colorations of the of the fishes that were swimming and uh, into. I mean, it was just awesome. I said, "Wow." And you think that's all. David says, I just want to inquire. All right, done for tonight. Uh, for those who have been live streaming with us, it's just a blessing to be in the land of the living. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Get in a Bible based church. Don't just waste your time not working. Work out your soul salvation with fear and trembling for it's God that worketh in you. Don't believe that lie you can just stay at home and you be at church. That's a lie. Satan is deceiving you. Yes, he says come together. Amen. Forgetting not to assemble yourselves together. Yeah, that's why he established the church. Amen. Jesus Christ established the church. Amen. He did. Yes. He said, upon this rock I'll build my church, yes. and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And he put pastors over that's the right. congregation, over yes. the flock. Yes. You can't pastor yourself. No. Pray about it. Get on a pastor that you... And I'm talking, don't be four or five years, join somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And then continue to look. Amen. Amen. If he's coming back for the church and you out of the church, you know where you're going. All right. God bless you until Sunday. For those